so 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 hi everybody it's your lovely lotus blossom lizzie and i'm here today with another plan with me in the erin condren horizontal layout and this is last week's spread and of course i always start by kind of giving you guys a peek at last week and some things are filled out and some things are not i need to go back and fill some things out so this is the week that we are going to be doing this week and i decided to pick um a theme that is near and dear to my heart and that is star trek dun, 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 dun. so i'm just gonna briefly show you guys the stickers here for star trek and i just got these little icons so some of these are from the family guys so they're kind of like kind of spoofy when it comes to the stickers and then i have one sticker let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see I have one sticker here that's of, of Dr. Spock, Dr. Spock, Mr. Spock, um, because he passed away last week, and he was one of my fit last week. Oh my gosh, what am I saying today? He passed away last year, and he was one of my favorite characters for Star Trek, and I watch Star Trek almost every day, you guys. I am a true Trekkie, and Star Trek actually um, showed this weekend, and so I wanted to um, kind of pay homage to Star Trek. So we have some uh, Enterprise vehicles here, or ships, and then we have some comm badges. Now I could have did a lot more, but I was just being plain lazy, y'all. And then I did the full boxes here. And this one has um, some of the Star Trek crew from the original Enterprise or original Star Trek. And then we have the captains on this one. And then we just have uh, Enterprise on here. And then we have our half boxes and then the weekend banner as well. And then next, oh, this one, I just had to print another organization sheet because I was out of it. But I'm not going to show you guys all the functional sheets because I've shown them to you already. And I don't want to bore you guys to death. I want to get the show on the road. And then we have uh, the headers here. So we got the headers. And I did like some flags. I did just some miscellaneous shapes that I always do um, during the week. And I think I need to change the shapes up a little bit. I think I might do that for next week. And then we have some more half boxes. And then some labels here as well and then we have I think I have some duplicate sheets because I kind of did this is kind of a misfit but I decided to put it up here anyway and then I have some horizontals on you'll probably see me cutting these because I made them a little bit longer because they always seem to be just a tad short and so I wanted to make them just a little bit longer and then we have our um, vertical dividers along with some vertical zigzags as well. And then we have our um, um, some more flags, some more labels, we have our trash cans, and then we have some more half boxes and the laundry machines, and then also some nail polish. So we're gonna be using those. So I'm just gonna jump right in and get going with this because um, I don't wanna take too long. So. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get going here. And of course, the first thing I'm going to put down is going to be the horizontal dividers, which I love because it covers all those colors up that I don't really wanna see. And um, I'm using red and blue, and of course, I'm staggering the colors. And you know, the colors that I'm using, they almost look like back to school colors. And even though it's almost back to school, you probably won't see a back to school layout in my particular planner, but these colors actually, um, I chose them because they're the colors of the uniforms for Star Trek. So they use blue, red, and yellow. And so I decided to use those colors within this layout. So if anybody wanted to know why I picked those colors in particular, and you know, I actually looked up not today, but I've looked up in the past what the colors meant because I thought like specific positions on the Enterprise that they wore specific colors, but it's really that really wasn't the case. Um, we kind of just mix and match things, but I just wanted to make sure that I incorporated those colors into this layout as well. 
Um, I also uh, went to a, a planner meetup today and this is the first time I ever went to a planner meetup and so the whole time I was just thinking I need to get home so I can record this plan with me because I didn't do it this week and I wanted it to still go out relatively on time and so I wanted to hurry up and get back in I, you know I still had to print my stickers out and it was just, you know, get everything all set up and the lighting was just like fantastic this time. So um, I just put down the headers and the headers are actually stars. So those are not just dots. Those are stars, y'all. I, really, I, I was thinking about this when I put this together. I'm putting down my full boxes now and now you can see where the yellow is starting to come in as well, which is another uniform color for um, Star Trek. And um, also, I went to see Star Trek today, the new Star Trek, and I can't remember which what, what the actual name of it is, but it's the most recent one um, for 2016, and I love Star Trek, and they just, you know, the, the, the special effects were just out of this world. They were awesome, and I just like the way they, they keep things into the theme of Star Trek. It's very clean. You can take your kids to it, and, you know, it's... Um, they do have some fighting so I guess I can't say it's not violent but um, you know the aliens are not that scary so you could take your kids so it's pretty awesome so you can see I'm pulling up a sticker and it went down kind of kind of crappy but that's because you know it just seems like this week that everything it just kind of looked a little crooked to me and you know when I'm watching a plan with me that other people are doing I never noticed things were in there wrong until the person says it so you know now you know that lots of my stickers went down a little crooked this week and so you'll probably be picking that up now that I said it but that's okay it's between me and my YouTube friends it's all right now I did my weekend banner in black and you know I always try to stay away from black but I thought this time keep in keeping with the with the space theme that would definitely incorporate some black into this and so I really liked it and it is really working out I I totally love it now you also notice um, that I put down my zigzags and I really like the zigzags and I use them every week I purposefully left the weekend up a little bit so I can put those things up underneath it and when I unfolded and looked at it y'all I'm telling you out loud when nobody was listening I just said oh my god I love this layout it is so beautiful with all the colors and this, you know the Star Trek theme which is something that I also love and that's what you have to do with your planner you have to just like don't listen to what other people say um, you may think that it might look messy to other people or disorganized or you know you may think you use too many stickers or maybe the themes that you have they may look juvenile to some people and you know I'm an older person too but I still I like my juvenile themes and it's my planner and I'm gonna do whatever I want to do with it and you should do whatever you want to do with your planner too and just have some fun with it don't be all stuck up and you know don't be a stiff shirt when it comes to planning in your planner you know just make it yours and you know it's all about the memories that you make um, in your planner you can add pictures to it I've done that before you can um, I even put like movie tickets in there you know tickets to places that you've been you know little small items that um, have meaning to you. you can put those in your planner um, as a memory planner now I use my Erin Condren for more like you know things that happen within my house like a household management type of planner and then I do have some other planners that I work on also because I just couldn't put everything into one planner that's my story anyway I think that's most most planner people that's their story so they can go out and buy more planners because I did go buy some more planners today when I went to that planner meetup it was at Michael's y'all so you know 
you know what happened we all bought more stuff i didn't buy too much stuff though you know of course they gave us some extra coupons you know business is business so i've just put down my half boxes and that really gives it a cohesive look i always say it looks very organized at this moment until i start putting down all the rest of my stickers which i really love and i'm putting down some labels as well and i use those to put my my weekly functional type of stickers on top of and I also I'm using those to kind of hide some of the mistakes that I had and even though it's still things still look a little bit wonky that's because I am not finished putting my stickers down yet y'all stickers had a wealth of mistakes so you don't even have to worry about it so again I had like a really good time at the planner meetup and um I'm I'm definitely going to be contacting some of the women that were there as well um, some of them have Etsy shops and I will, I, that's something I will definitely do again so now here's something that you guys haven't seen from me in a very long while and that is me putting down the weather stickers and I usually don't put them down um, during the plan with me's because I do them so early but because this one is done so late um, I just needed to get everything down and ready to go um, for the next week so I'm putting down my weather um, stickers and of course you know summer times here we get lots of rain and thunderstorms and afternoons so even though I stay in Florida you guys you still don't see like a lot of I don't use a lot of sunshine type of stickers it's usually like rain partially cloudy or thunderstorms and of course no snow so I still have to write in my um, the actual the actual temperatures as well so I'm gonna do that also and I'm putting down a hello Monday sticker and usually I will put that where that yellow box was at but I decided I, I was just gonna go ahead and stick it on there. it takes up a lot of space so I hope I don't have a lot of things to write in for Monday but I'm sure I'll find a way to get it in so now I'm putting down my Amazon Amazon store um, sticker I say that every week the same way What's up with that? But I put that down. I do. I work on my Amazon store on Wednesdays. And if you want to see what type of things I sell in the Amazon store, there'll be a link below. And also, if you hit the little eye up in the right hand corner, um, there will be a link there as well. And I also go to the post office three times a week because I want my customers to get their things quick. I know, you know, even if they don't have Amazon Prime, it doesn't matter. When people buy items from me, I ship them out the next day almost so I don't want people to wait for a long time and you'll see me kind of rifling through my book and my book looks wonderful doesn't it I love it I used some washi tape that washi tape that I had a lot of to put some of my stickers just on some stock paper that I already had and so it didn't cost me anything and the binders that I'm using I had those they were in my garage because I had them for my business and I wasn't using them so I just decided instead of going out and buying some really pretty binders, I would just use what I had and um, try to, you know, make use of things so they won't pile up. You know, trying to, I'm not really a minimal, minimalist type of person, but definitely try not to buy too much more things that will kind of junk the place up. So that's why I did that. So I'm putting down my sort mail and I put down my plan with me stickers and also have like a, a few uh, appointments. I've already put down a doctor sticker on Tuesday and then I also now I'm putting down the work sticker and I kind of debated over the color I was going to use for that and I decided to go with the black this time and I'm glad I did because it works out really well. It really looks like I'm in space on here and I like that a lot. And of course, on camera had to fix, had to fix that um, paper page. It was coming up, and now I'm putting down my um, my weekly habit sticker. I love this sticker, you guys, and I actually use it, and it really helps me to keep track. Cause I'm trying to develop some some new habits, and you know, when you can mark things off, 
it just it makes it so much better so now I'm putting down my um, wash sheets I'm gonna wash the sheets this week so I want to make sure I denote that and put that down I had to go back and look to, to see if I did it last week or not and I'm also recycling people will be here this week so I want to make sure I put that down and then I'm gonna put my trash cans also down as well and I always have lots of trash cans and I've almost run out of the ones that I've gotten from Rory Sweet Addiction but I found found that the ones that I made almost look identical to those so I'll probably be using those I probably won't buy anymore so because I'm getting good at making stickers y'all which is you know it's so cost effective to do that and I do that with my Cricut machine and you can do that too and I only really make stick stickers as I need them so I don't say hey I like that sticker let me make some of those I actually wait until I need them and then I make make some and I bought the paper inexpensive too and I'll have a link to the Cricut machine that I use I use the Cricut um, Air and then also the sticker paper that I used to because the sticker paper is some pretty good sticker paper I must say I, I love it and so I put down my uh, my dentist appointment on Friday and I'm putting down my wash hair stickers because I have been religiously washing my hair on Wednesdays and Sundays and my hair is really loving it and also um, I put down the um, my little watering can because I have to I always water the plants on Tuesday so you guys got a little bit of a peek on July monthly plant um, plan there or layout and um, I'm actually gonna start doing the monthly layouts and so I was kind of testing in July and it looked really marvelous and um, what I'm gonna do too is I'll probably do kind of a flip through of July and you guys can look and see um, what I've done for the month once it's done so I'll do that sometime in August and I also I'll be posting up soon on the plan with me for August I've already recorded it and um, so the monthly uh, layout is ready to go um, I could have did a few more things but you know I kind of just experiment and do things as I go and you guys get to go along on the journey so that's always nice now I'm putting down my nice enterprise stickers and of course the second one I pulled up I got so excited I just ripped it up and I ripped off a nacelle and if you are a Star Trek fan you know what a nacelle is and so I had to fix the nacelle and repair it because we want to still go where no man has gone before sounds kind of cliche doesn't it but it sounds good we're gonna go where no man has gone before in this planner <laughs> so now I'm putting down my deco stickers and usually I make my deco stickers really huge and this time I made them a reasonable size and so um, because I did that I'll be able to use all those stickers in this plan with me and it's not going to take up a whole lot of space and it looks really good so I like that. I'm glad that I didn't go crazy making the deco stickers. These, it's just like the perfect amount and they're just the right size. So I like them a lot. And this, you know, really came together really nicely. I love the colors. I'm glad. I wasn't sure about picking the school type of colors, but um, those are the colors that are the uniforms for Star Trek. So it just kind of just all melded together and not mind melded. I know, excuse the pun. For those of you that are trackies, you know what I'm talking about, or should I say tr trickies? All right, and so basically, um, that's all of the stickers that I'm gonna put down. So what I decided to do was to go ahead and write some things in, and that's something you guys haven't seen me do either. So now I'm writing the temperatures in, and you know, my handwriting wasn't too bad today. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And I am writing with a, um, a black a Sharpie pen, a fine tip pen, ultra fine tip pen. I love those. And I'm using black for this layout. And I also um, found that I like the flare, the um, paper mate flares also, but I didn't have a black paper mate flare, so I couldn't use it. I had to just use the Sharpie that I had here. 
and I really love the Sharpies and they come in different colors too so I'll have a link below if um, you want to check out the Sharpies as well but they have them at all the stores also I just make it easy for you and you can um, just use the link below if you wanted to so that's pretty much it this is my Star Trek themed layout and I really love it and I may do more movie themes in the future so if this is something that you enjoy please make sure that you give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed already make sure you hit that button and you subscribe so you can see more videos just like this one also thank you to those who have subscribed already and with that I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet lotus blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.